So hello and welcome back to Gumadis Coins and Banknotes and in today's video we're looking at, well, Uruguay again. So this time we're looking at the 1976-77 coin series. So this was a redenomination of the peso, so they call it the new peso. And here's the previous peso, so this is the longest running peso that Uruguay has issued so far. And... I have put the denominations close together of what they represent in the previous currency. So the re-denomination was um, 1,000 old pesos equals 1 new peso. So 100 pesos equals 10 centimos. 50 pesos, 5 centimos. 20 pesos, 2 centesimos. And 10 pesos, 1 centesimos. So this would have been equivalent to 200 pesos, 500 and 1,000. So this series is the coat of arms series and we're going to have a look in a minute while i'll pause the video rearrange the coins and we'll find out what i mean okay so i have rearranged the coins we have the one two five ten twenty fifty and the one peso so this is basically how they're arranged on the coat of arms up the top we have the son of may so that's the independence day of uh Uruguay as well as Argentina. Okay, so here we have uh, the Coro de Montevideo. So this is a fortress that protected Montevideo, no, Montevideo's uh, harbor. Then we have a scale. So it represents justice. So that's justice. Uh, that can also represent trade, but in this case it's not. A horse for liberty or freedom. And an ox. For abundance so agriculture at the time would have uh, been very profitable for some people so as you can see uh, we've got aluminium and aluminium bronze coins which are, are quite cheap but the one and two centesimals were only single year issue so issued in 1977 uh, the five was issued 1977 Oh no, the two was issued in 1978 as well. But it seems to be that a lot of these coins didn't make it to uh, to circulation. And it's actually quite... Well, you can actually get these coins. Uh, it's pretty hard. So I purchased this in a bulk lot. And they... The bulk lot cost pretty much... Uh, was it $20 for all this set? So, if you wanted to buy these three coins by themselves, you're probably paying at least $20, $30, I've seen. I've only seen ones on eBay, but there's sellers trying to sell them for like $60, $70. Obviously, they're not selling. Uh, on some internet sites, you can buy them for less than $5. But in general, uh, you're going to be paying a lot more money. So, the more common coins that would have been used would be the... 10, 20, and 50. And as you can see, these all are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12 sided. So, like the Australian 50 cent coin. But probably the designers of these coins uh, had never seen an Australian 50 cent coin. I don't know that. But the 12 sided, yeah, these are very unique for South America, most South American coins around. And these ones are all plain, as well as the one peso coin, you can see there. This one has Artigas, but unlike the previous Artigas coin series, uh, this one, the portrait is actually good. The design of this one's good. And it has S, so these were minted in Chile. And the one peso. Uh, the coin that I am missing from this design series is the 5 pesos issued in 1975. So, that's uh, one thing I need to get. So, another series was issued in 1981. So, they didn't issue any coins in the centesimos. Uh, these are just copper, nickel, 1, 2, 5 and 10 peso coins. So, if we look at the 1 and the 2... These were issued in 1981. It has the coal flower, national flower. 
and the one peso has the coat of arms the two was issued in 1981 and this one is quite a nice coin so it has a the reverse that was issued or oh, no actually this is the obverse that was issued on the 20 centesimos coin back in uh, 1943 and this commemorates world food day but this coin was minted in brazil so unlike the brazilian coins at the time this one's actually quite a nice coin copper nickel is a lot easier to mint then we have the five and ten and as you can see they're the same reverse as the one so they issued at the same time so 1980 this one has artigas so the same design that was issued on the previous uh, one peso they just change it over to the 10 peso coin so obviously by this time this had actually fallen out of circulation and here we have the flag of uruguay so we have blue and white stripes and the sun of may and the top left hand corner and once again it was minted in uh, chile so these coins if you wanted to get them as a set yeah probably five to ten dollars as a set most websites will have these selling singly for at least five dollars so they're not a real uh, ex cheap coin to get if you if you want this whole set you know probably twenty thirty dollars but once again shop around my prices are subjective and just what i've seen so after this series obviously inflation increased so we had a decrease in the uh, size of the peso and this is the last series they issued of this coinage once again i'm missing one coin and that is the one peso here so if it was included in uh, this coin it'd actually be smaller than the five pesos that we see here so most of these are steel or copper nickel you can see that the change in the metal so if we look at the one and the 100 you can see the differences so this is more silverish this is more whitish color so this is copper nickel this is a steel coin and if we put them all together you can see the actual size difference so there is a bigger difference between the 10 and the 50 pesos so i surmise is that they're probably going to issue a 20 peso coin that they just didn't for the series uh, because it just would have confused people having sizes pretty similar in uh, the actual size range so if you look at the 100 200 you can uh, probably get them confused so the obverse of the coin so the 5 10 and the 50 just have the sun of may the 100 has Groucho. so i'm not too sure who that guy is maybe just look him up libertad so liberty on the 200 and the 500 oh wow that's a surprise someone we've never seen before artigas how did you get on the coin i don't know someone decided that uh, they had a love affair with me and they just wanted to include me in every coin when we have lots of people that should have been on the coin but no i'm the top priority so anyway sorry about that so basically uh that is the uh, third coin series of uh, this specific currency they're not that exciting uh, this whole coin series probably costs you about twenty dollars if you really look hard but generally what i've seen is that these these denominations so the five to fifty sell for about two to three dollars and these ones here sell for about five dollars each so if you interested in purchasing any of these maybe just check on ebay and see what they actually have to offer anyway i hope this helps you with your uruguayan coin series uh, this is the last one of this current series until i get 
the newer coins of the next peso which uh, started in 1994 anyway let's say thank you very much and have an awesome coin and bank that collecting time once again if you have any questions leave it down below if you'd like to correct me uh, also leave it down below because i do make mistakes uh, i'll read some misinformation sometimes and sometimes i just don't research stuff because you know i, I, I just can't learn everything anyway have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you and goodbye